A cyber attack spread around the world over the weekend, hitting businesses, hospitals and government agencies in at least 150 countries. And today the threat is still not over either. ABC's Ariel Reshef has the latest. An unprecedented cyber attack spreading across the globe. The breach hitting more than 200,000 hospitals, corporations and government agencies across six continents. Hackers taking control of computer systems in more than 150 countries, holding data hostage, demanding ransom. We're bringing all the capabilities of the U.S. government to bear on this issue and are working side by side with our partners in the private sector and our international partners. FedEx, the first U.S. company to admit falling victim to the so-called WannaCry virus. The problem with companies like FedEx is that you have clearly hundreds, if not, I assume, thousands of computers that can talk to each other. And if one gets infected and it moves to the other, I mean, basically you have a sea of infected computers. So far, no signs of a second wave. Only because I think they're in no hurry. But the fallout from Friday's massive breach far reaching. In Britain, the national health system forced to cancel routine surgeries, blood tests and general appointments until the system is back up and running. I think it's a heinous crime, this hacking, because we're putting they're putting um, people's lives at risk. Experts warning this large scale cyber spell will not be the last. We're now into a, uh, a world where this is now an everyday occurrence. White House officials saying they believe this cyber attack is under control, but still represents an extremely serious threat. Ariel Reshef, ABC News, New York. So a lot of you might be left wondering, what exactly does this mean for me? How will it affect my computer and how exactly do I protect myself? So we asked our digital team to do some research for us uh, earlier this morning and joining us right now is digital journalist Landon Hoff. And so Landon, how exactly does this even affect your computer in the first place? Because most of us are not experts with this. Well, I'll start this off by saying I'm not necessarily an expert either, Jason, but what I can tell you, uh, basically this is, comes from a glitch in the Windows 10 operating system. And what'll happen is you'll get an error message that pops up that looks something like this. It'll tell you that your files have been encrypted and that you need to pay some sort of uh, payment or ransom. That's why it's called ransomware, if you've seen that uh, term floating around today. You need to pay to get your files back. The experts, of course, will tell you do not pay that ransom, Jason. Hmm. So Landon, how exactly do you even protect yourself from this particular malware attack? What do you need to do? Yeah, well, it seems like the advice is pretty simple. I think uh, if you just you update your systems uh, regularly, you know, it sounds like, well, of course, you know, it's a no brainer. But uh, like I said, it, came, it comes from a glitch in the Windows 10 operating system. And so Microsoft actually um, released an update that would erase this issue in March. Uh, but not every computer gets updated uh, right on time, especially in some workspaces. So the key is to update your system. Microsoft actually released a list of um, outdated systems that they released a special update for today. There's a link to that uh, information in our story on WFA.com. So the, the keyword is update your systems regularly. Uh, if you don't know what operating system you're running, uh, you can find that from Microsoft. You can find that in our story. And a lot of times it'll be in the control panel uh, of your Microsoft computer. And depending on which system it is, it'll look a a little bit differently, but the control panel or the about my computer, the my PC um, function will usually have your operating system. So you can find out just exactly how you need to update it. Uh, Landon, when we talk about stuff like this, I automatically think of my mom because I know that she probably yeah. does not update her PC uh, and that she would have no idea how to find out what kind of operating system she's on. So again, all of that is with this story at WFAA.com. So if you're a little bit challenged with this kind of stuff, we've got all the info there. Uh, meantime, if you kind of know a little bit more about these things, Landon. Uh, this looks like it's a PC issue, likely a relief for a lot of Mac users, but uh, for all of us, I guess what are sort of the general guidelines to protecting computer systems? Yeah, I think again, it's pretty simple, uh, pretty simple advice that you hear anytime you go to the Apple store or the Sprint store or whatever, uh, back up your devices uh, on an external hard drive or on the cloud. So the problem with this is it'll tell you that your files are encrypted. That may or may not be true. You may or, not, may or may not be able to get them back. So if they're backed up on an external hard drive or in the cloud, uh, you have a way uh, to get them. And, and Mac users should also stay prudent and keep their systems updated. Not necessarily, again, this looks like it is mostly just affecting Windows. It looks like this particular, uh, the WannaCry, um, malware is only Windows, but that doesn't mean that Mac users couldn't be uh, affected tomorrow by a whole different uh, scam. So stay prudent, keep your systems updated, uh, and back up your files. That's the advice that I can give you. All right, Landon Hoff, Hoff and our uh, digital team there. And you know, don't open those attachments if you're not That's sure right. that you should only be opening open it. it. It comes from a trusted source. Thanks mm. again, Landon.